Example 37. In how many different orders can a UPS driver drop off five packages? When I see this phrase, how many, it makes me think of a counting technique. So I think we're going to be dealing with a counting method. Obviously, this bold title makes us realize that it's the factorial counting method we'll be learning in this video. However, I'm actually not going to teach you the factorial counting method. Before we start, let's discuss real quickly a refresher of what the factorial operation is. If you have something like four factorial, it means four times three times two times one. And so four factorial is just a, a product basically where you start with the number here next to the factorial symbol and you count down to one and you multiply all the numbers along the way. So in this case, you know, this is 12 times two is gonna give you 24, right? And that's the result for that calculation for factorial. So they call this the factorial counting method because what's going to happen is the answer is going to have something here like this and that's how the answer is going to work out. It's always going to be a factorial when you're done. But in my opinion, to learn this as a separate rule from what we've already learned already, remember what we learned already was the fundamental counting rule. So to learn this factorial rule as a separate rule is probably a mistake. You don't need to have that in your memory and waste space there. Instead, what I think you should do is just apply the rule we've already learned, which is the fundamental counting rule. To apply the fundamental counting rule to a counting problem, you have to break up the process into a set of steps. So in this problem, the UPS driver has to deliver five packages. So let's think about that. If you had five packages, let's say packages A, B, C, D, and E, right? Those are your packages that you have to deliver. You can't deliver them all at once, right? Because they're not all going to the same house. So you're gonna deliver them one at a time, correct? All right, so if you're delivering the packages one at a time, then there's a set of steps to be accomplished, right? There's step one, namely the first delivery, step two, the second delivery, three, four, and five, right? So there are five deliveries, so five steps. So I've put a little space for each step. And then in the fundamental counting rule, we're actually going to put multiplication between each of the steps, correct? And then what we fill in the spaces here is the number of ways the step can be accomplished. So for the first delivery, we're asking how many different packages do you have to choose from for that first delivery? How many options are there for that first delivery? And I would say that because there are five packages initially, there are five choices, right? Now let's say we decided to deliver package D first. Then how many packages would be available for the next delivery? Well, of course, I'd have to choose among the remaining four packages, right? Let's say I delivered that one. Then I would have three remaining packages for my third delivery, and then so on and so forth, right? So that would give me the idea. Finally, in the last delivery, I'd only have one package remaining, and that would be the obvious choice. I'd have to choose that one, so I really don't have much option here at all. And then, basically, we have the answer. Now, you'll see that the answer here works out to be 5 factorial by definition, because it's 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, all multiplied. And we could memorize that that is 120, or you can just work it out, you know. That would be 20 times 6, which is 120, or you can use your calculator. Um, but in either case, essentially, all we've done is apply the fundamental counting rule. The fact that it turned out in the end to be a factorial really is not that important, right? Okay, so let me just show you how to get this factorial on your calculator. In this particular calculator, the way it works is you would press the 5 first. So I'd press the 5, and then I'd hit the math key. And I would arrow over to where it says PRB. And it's option 4 where the factorial symbol is located. And if I hit enter, I get the 120 I just found there a minute ago.